Okay, I have something else that I want to show you and something that maybe you could do at home is take a look inside a seed and you're going to see a couple of things. You're going to see what is called the seed's embryo. That's the part that actually grows. And then you're also going to be able to see its food because that's what a seed is. It's actually the embryo, part of the growing plant, but then most of the seed is food that that seed needs while it is dormant. Dormant means while it's not growing. So if you go to the store and you buy a pack of seeds, those seeds are dormant. Once you um, get them germinating, which is going to be our science word of the week, germinate, well, then it's no longer dormant, right? It's growing. So to be able to germinate a seed, it needs those right conditions, uh, those conditions that we're testing up in our experiment. Um, one of the things that a seed needs to do to be able to, or what we need to do to a seed to be able to see inside it better is we need to let it soak. Um, a lot of seeds are very difficult to open when they're dormant, when they are dry, they're just really, really hard and we don't want to damage it and break it apart. So if you soak a seed, it's easier to open up. So what I did is I just put some water in a cup and as you can see, I put a whole bunch of food coloring in it. That's just kind of makes things a little more fun to see. Uh, it makes it a little easier to see the embryo, embryo as well. So water, food coloring, and inside here are some fava bean seeds. Now, if you happen to watch the Friday slideshow, always check out Friday's specialist slides, you guys. There's some good stuff on there. Anyway, I used a fava bean and I'm it's been sitting there overnight, so I'm going to see if I can get one out. There we go. They're fairly good sized, and I'm going to put it on a paper towel. Da, 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 da. Let me do that thing I keep forgetting to do. There we go. All right. Look, it's purple. That's so pretty. <laughs> I'm going to move that thing out of the way. Oh, my goodness. La. So I'm also going to kind of dry it off because I really don't want my fingers to be super, super purple. But if they are, not a big deal. As you guys know, food coloring does come off. It just takes a little while. So this is a fava bean. Ta-da! And like I said in Friday's slide, there's a certain movie from the 90s. Mentions fava beans. Anyway, now that this thing is wet and has been soaking, it's going to be a lot easier to open up. One part of the seed, actually, though, the part that we see is called the seed case, and we want to take that off. So if I just, whoops, I used my fingernails. Oh, look, you can see actually the seed inside of there. I need my glasses on. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Get my old lady glasses on. Oops, my goodness, Mrs. Nichols, I'm making a mess of this poor seed by taking the seed case off. When I tried it earlier, it just, oh, there we go, it just popped off. So seed case, oh, look what's left. There's the seed. It's a beautiful pink. Okay, so now to really see it, we need to open this up. That's another thing, and these seeds are nice and easy to do. It's already kind of popped open. Here we go. Ooh, this got really purple on the inside. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to hold it up. So you see this part, this big part right here? That is part of the embryo. This actually is where the roots are going to come out. Pretty cool, huh? I got something on my face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I just noticed I'm a mess. <laughs> anyway, so that's part of the embryo. Those are going to be the roots coming out. And this other stuff around it, well, that's the food. That's the seed food. That's pretty cool. Let me show you this other one I opened up a little bit ago. And that one, the shell came off 
very nicely. It just slid right out of there. That almost looks like, a, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of a insect. All right, let me see this other one. But you can see there, see that embryo sticking out of there? And then the rest of this is food. So that's what the inside of seeds look like. We just happen to get a nice big seed. So if you ever do want to look inside one, make sure the seeds are big. Um, it would be really hard to see inside of a safflower seed or some of these other like really, really super teeny tiny ones. Another thing, if you're able to, is use some sort of magnifier. Like I have this really groovy magnifier. It's kind of like the loop that we've used before. If you've been with me, we use those magnifying loops. Um, unfortunately, I can't quite figure out a way for you guys to see it. Hmm. Anyway, one of these days I'll figure things out. Oh, I know. I need to figure out, I need to hook up my um, projector, my document, cam my document camera. I bet a lot of you guys, your teachers are using document cameras and look at me, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a mess. It's because I normally never use one. I will give that a try. So I'm babbling now. I think it's time to stop. Water, food coloring, let a bean soak at least overnight, maybe a couple of days. And take a look inside. So remember, the word of the day, and I kind of glossed over it, germinate. So germinate is when the plant actually begins to grow. So when these seeds get the right conditions, whatever those perfect conditions are, well then that seed is going to actually begin to grow. That embryo is going to start sending out some roots and then the actual plant itself. So the roots are gonna grow one direction and the rest of the plant will grow in the other direction. Pretty cool. Um, I guess that's it. You can go now. Bye.